Well, it's official. Thanksgiving is canceled. Thanks, liberals. <laughs> I mean, not really, but uh, if we're being honest with ourselves, it should be. You should cancel Thanksgiving. Just do a small thing with the people you live with because it is looking more and more likely that Thanksgiving and the coming holiday season is going to contribute to a massive spike in COVID-19 cases. And I say this because as The Hill reports, 38% of Americans are planning on having Thanksgiving dinner with 10 or more people. Now this comes from a survey conducted by Ohio State University's Wexner Medical Center. And additionally, nearly 33% of respondents said they would not require friends or family to wear masks at Thanksgiving gatherings. And 25% said they would not practice social distancing according to the poll. The survey comes just before Thanksgiving amid an alarming surge of coronavirus cases across the United States. State leaders and health experts, including the nation's top infectious disease expert, Anthony Fauci, warned against congregating indoors with large groups of people amid the coronavirus. In addition, individuals 65 and older should exercise greater caution when attending gatherings as COVID-19 symptoms are statistically more fatal among older adults. When you're gathered together around the table engaged in conversation, sitting less than six feet apart with your masks down, even in a small group, that's when the spread of this virus can really happen, said Ian Gonshauser, Chief Quality and Patient Safety Officer at OSU Wexner Medical Center. Though a considerable percentage of respondents said they would flout safety recommendations for Thanksgiving dinner, a majority, 73% of respondents said they would practice social distancing during the holidays. Additionally, 79% said they would only gather with people with whom they live. So on one hand, it's, it's good news that most people, the overwhelming majority of people are not going to be irresponsible and they will follow proper safety protocols. I think that just having a small ceremony or celebration with the people who you live with, that really is, you know, the best course of action. And if you live alone, that's really, really unfortunate. You know, hopefully you can hook up via Zoom and celebrate that way. I mean, it's tough. We all have to make sacrifices, you know, because of this pandemic. But I mean, even though most people will not be holding a traditional Thanksgiving ceremony. The problem is that the proportion of the population who will be flouting social distance, you know, and, and safety concerns and not wearing masks, that's large enough to contribute to a very large aggregate spread of this virus. And, you know, it's tough, right? Because when you are with people who you know, your friends, your family, it's probably awkward to enforce these rules, right? It, it gets weird to, you know, tell your aunt and your uncle to wear a mask if they show up without one. So, I mean, it's best to just, if you're not assertive and blunt enough to enforce these rules, to just not celebrate at all. Like, don't put yourself in danger because this is literally life and death. Even if you catch COVID-19 and you survive it, that is a life worth of health problems that are going to follow you. And that's a pre-existing condition now. So, I mean, like, we, we can't take a risk. Like, we see the light at the end of the tunnel. We have two vaccines now that are more than 90% effective. We're so close. We just have to hang on a little bit longer and, you know, we, we can get through this. Now, following these surveys, you know, there were subsequent warnings issued because obviously this is a really bad sign. We can't have this many people not taking this seriously, you know, uh, congregating indoors, spreading the virus because that affects everyone else. It's not just individuals within the, within their social circles because you catch it from one of these Thanksgiving dinners. You then go to the store, contaminate someone else, your grocery store clerk. It just it, it continues to spread. So there were warnings. Please do not do this. Don't celebrate Thanksgiving as you usually would. And of course, the right reacted in a predictable manner by encouraging people to defy these warnings about, you know, Thanksgiving and defy any social distancing or mask enforcements that you may have basically saying, um, this is just an attack on Thanksgiving. That's literally what Charlie Kirk said. The left has always hated Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving can be interpreted as a religious holiday. If you believe in giving thanks to a creator. But they hate Thanksgiving because they believe there is nothing you should be thankful for in America. This is an awful place. It is cancerous, rotten to the core. Tear it all down. Burn it from within. Why would you be thankful? Instead, we need a revolution. Remember, as the Students for a Democratic Society radicals once wrote in the 1960s, they said, conflict is the origin of everything. What happens when you're thankful? By definition, you're less likely to be involved and engaged 
and conflict. Thanksgiving is supposed to de-escalate any sort of pre-existing issues in our country. And now they're using the virus as an excuse for you not to be thankful. Checkmate, libtards. We know that this isn't about COVID-19. This has nothing to do with the virus that killed almost a quarter million Americans. This has everything to do with your hatred of Thanksgiving. Okay, except what if I told you that this wasn't actually some grand conspiracy by the left to destroy Thanksgiving? We like Thanksgiving too, dumb fuck. I like to eat. I like to overindulge myself until I'm almost nauseous, drink too much. It's fun. Like, I like hanging out with my friends and family. I like Thanksgiving. I like the holiday season. So this isn't about us trying to destroy Thanksgiving. That's fucking stupid. It's about a pandemic that's very real. And by you using your platform to encourage people to defy social distancing and all the proper protocols to protect themselves, that makes you a dangerous individual, a danger to society, because you're telling people, don't, you know, worry about your own health and safety. Just, just do it. Just go to Thanksgiving. Don't, don't listen to the left. They hate Thanksgiving. I mean, this is, this is so dangerous and irresponsible. And it's also a childish response. I mean, to respond to people warning about the dangers of congregating indoors during a pandemic by saying, oh, well, this isn't about the pandemic. This is about the left wanting to destroy Thanksgiving as if the left also doesn't like Thanksgiving. I mean, you're fucking stupid if you genuinely believe this, Charlie Kirk. You are fucking stupid. And it's embarrassing that you have a platform that large. That many people are duped by what you're espousing. Now, he's not the only one because a supposed doctor, who's actually a real doctor, so I guess I, I can't put his uh, doctor title in quotes, Scott Atlas went on Fox News and uh, did the same thing, basically. Encouraged people to um, ignore these warnings. When you lock down, and because we had states that were restricting businesses, restricting uh, activities, we forced cases to be building up in this season. When you cannot social distance, it's exactly this reason why it's more dangerous now that we slowed cases from coming up into the winter. You can't social distance from your elderly family member when you can't go outside. So yes, I agree we should have activities outside. Yes, I agree we need ventilation. Yes, we should uh, uh, reduce <clears throat> large group indoor activities, use social distancing. We need to protect our, our vulnerable, high-risk senior family members. All these things I completely agree with. There's nothing there that isn't agreeable. But what the problem is, I don't agree you should, you should close schools. I don't agree you should not have in-person learning. I don't want to see the figure that one in four American college students, one in four, age 18 to 24, thought of killing themselves in June because of the lockdown. I have children that age myself. So we know I... what they're suffering from with isolation. Yep. And this kind of isolation is one of the unspoken tragedies of the elderly who are now being told, don't see your family at Thanksgiving. For many people, this is their final Thanksgiving, believe it or not. And it will be their final Thanksgiving if they listen to you. Because this is going to kill people. If that many people, according to that survey, actually does Thanksgiving with more than 10 people indoors with no, you know, social distancing or masks, people will die because of this. You know, so this is irresponsible, but it's not surprising because the right, they are taking what shouldn't be a political issue and they're making it a partisan issue. It's a pandemic. It doesn't care if you are a Republican or a Democrat. It affects everyone. So, you know, it, it's disturbing, uh, but understand how what he's saying here, it's extremely contradictory because on one hand, he says, look, we should be doing social distancing. But on another hand, he says, oh, but we shouldn't close schools. But you can't have it both ways. Should we or should we not follow the proper actions that will lead to, you know, containing the spread of this virus? And he feigns, you know, uh, concern over people experiencing mental health issues because of the lockdown. And sure, I'll grant you that. The lockdown is unquestionably causing people to suffer from depression and anxiety and other mental health issues. But do you want to know what part of that stems from? The economic anxiety that they are facing because some people have anxiety because they've lost their jobs or they can't work or maybe they are working, but they're not receiving hazard pay, and they're exposing themselves to the virus, potentially. If you truly cared about people's mental health, you would go on Fox News, use that platform to recommend a cancellation of all rants, 
another stimulus package or, you know, a monthly basic income for the duration of this pandemic. If you truly cared about people's mental health, but you don't, you're just using mental health to hide your agenda, to make it seem as if you're actually a good person when you're not a good person. You don't actually care about individuals because if you did, you would recommend shutting down schools. You would recommend us taking these extreme but necessary precautions to mitigate the spread of this virus. But you're not doing that, so you don't actually care. Because what you actually care about, what the people of Fox News care about, is uh, the economy, capitalism, the business class making money. That's always been their motivation here. So, you know, they continue to downplay the severity of COVID-19 and encourage people to defy protocols. And, you know, I, I want to say that they do this at their own peril, but unfortunately, their stupidity isn't contained to just them. What they say and encourage people to do impacts everyone. Because when it comes to something like a virus, we're only as strong as our weakest link. So if people continue to not take it seriously and it still spreads, that affects everyone, not just the people who aren't taking it seriously. So, I mean, this is extremely frustrating. But look, all that we can do is control ourselves and take action by not taking action by staying home on thanksgiving doing a small ceremony uh just with the people you live with that's that's what you have to do because i mean it's one year it's a sacrifice and it sucks it really does suck i want to celebrate thanksgiving i love having these big you know uh, celebrations with my family and extended family and whatnot but we can't do that this year it's a pandemic and i want to make sure that myself and the people i love are protected and i hope that you will do the same thing